So let's quickly take an introduction to who a web developer actually is. So you might have heard of web developers, you might know web developers, and of course there's a lot of them in today's world. So a web developer is basically an IT professional who has the ability to create web applications, uh, you know, which can be hosted on the internet or on a server architecture, which basically means that you can have applications which can be used anywhere across the world. So web developer works completely to provide a very clean code for the website and the web applications. See, as learners, as beginners, as intermediate users, you might have come across code sometimes which is actually easy but it's very difficult to understand. That's that's bad code. Uh, when we mean clean code, it has to be very readable, it has to be understandable, it has to come with supporting documentation, comments and everything more. Now, they are also responsible for building the entire framework of a website and a web application as well. So when you think about all the things that happen in the back end, well, these guys are responsible for that as well. So we have an entire career path when you talk about web developers. It's called as full stack web development, where it consists of front end, back end, functionality development, and so much more as well. And of course, all of this includes, uh, you know, working on the logic of the application, the actual, probably the heart of the application be it a website, be it a web application. So logic is pretty important there, right? And these guys are known uh, to work on the logic part of it as well. Now, coming to who a software developer is. Well, uh, as you might already guess, a software developer is a person who's involved with creating new softwares. So he's a professional who knows all of the tools, the requirements, the client side aspects, the methodologies and everything that's involved, uh, you know, to go from scratch to a ready software that solves a particular problem. So a software developer will work very closely with most of the people in the company, be it a business analyst, be it all of the designers to make the application look good, the user interface, the user experience to be beautiful, and of course the clients, uh, because at the end of the day, you have to satisfy their requirements. Now, a software developer is also responsible for creating, uh, you know, be it applications on the mobile and the desktop platform as well. So it's not only that they uh, you know write applications give you software uh, on uh, which works only on a pc or a laptop no they are responsible for working on mobile development as well well now as i mentioned for the web developer as well even a software developer uh, has the ability should have the ability in fact to provide great documentation for all of the code that they write because at the end of the day if they're writing the software or a piece of program for uh, a client who might not know the technicalities of it it is the job of the software developer to basically make it easier uh, in terms of understandability as well well, now, if they have returned their own software, it means that there might be applications where, you know, things might not work as expected or there might be certain weaknesses in the applications. And of course, it is their job to find these weaknesses, to test them continuously, test for vulnerability, and of course, fix them before delivering it to the client as well. Now, with this, we can quickly jump on to the comparison between web development and software development. And of course, the first point in our comparison is the ability. So when we talk about ability, we talk about the skill sets required and whatever is required to basically build, uh, uh, you know, applications in both of these domains. In terms of a web developer, a web developer will have all the skills to build websites and web applications and, uh, you know, not much apart from that. But then when you're talking about a software developer, a software developer uh, will have the ability to do some sort of web development as well. Because at the end of the day, if it's a software or an application which is scaled across the web, then pretty much, you know, it forms to be a tiny aspect of a web application itself. So a software developer uh, gets a slight advantage here because uh, he or she has the complete ability to build any kind of software, uh, you know, that's required based on the requirement of the client. Now, the second point uh, we have to talk about is the architecture. So what we mean by architecture is basically that whenever web developers work or whenever they're set out to solve a problem, uh, everything that they work basically most of the time is client server architectures because, you know, uh, there's a server which hosts all of the applications or all of the uh, uh, content that they require, be it web applications, be it uh, websites and whatnot, and they develop code uh, such that they bring the client server architecture together and eventually drive a product out of it. Now, when we're talking about software developers, software developers, 
developers basically provide solutions to clients as usual by basically working on client based systems only because at the end of the day uh, your client might already have a server architecture which just requires a client unit to work with right so in that particular case they'll require only a client based system which will you know sit fine with their already existing protocols or already existing architecture and work fine there as well so this is a simple difference uh, in the architecture of how web developers go on to do their jobs and software developers at the same time now the third point we need to check out is the development platform because when you talk about web developers since they're writing websites and web applications the most important concern here is that uh, you know all of their applications and websites need to work fine whenever uh, you talk about any browser it's not like their application works fine let's say on google chrome but fails to work on mozilla firefox no that should not happen so these guys have the ability these guys work uh, with the entirety of the mindset where they make sure that their applications work flawlessly in all of the browsers uh you know that there are and when we talk about software developers uh you know software developers have a similar requirement but here it's not web browsers particularly but it's different operating systems so uh just like how web developers want to make the products uh, work across all of these web browsers software developers are concerned with making their products their applications their softwares work fine uh in multiple operating systems as well be it linux be it windows be it mac os and more coming to the fourth point it's again a very important one which is easier to learn as a beginner or an intermediate user well it is in my opinion that web development is easier to get started with because you have a very structured form of learning in which all of the tools and the techniques can be mastered very easily and in fact they are not complicated to learn uh, if you pick up a structured program that will teach you for this now uh, with respect to software development software uh, development involves a lot of different methodologies you know when you're building a software Software. so it involves a lot of operations alongside uh, you know software development bringing together a lot of teams and working hand in hand with the client as well so it requires uh, you know a lot of understanding in terms of methodologies tools and even philosophies of course because there are some philosophies that suggest what a good software is and what sets it apart from a bad one or a mediocre one as well so in that point of view for beginners to get started with all of these in terms of software development might be a little overwhelming Coming to point number 5 what's the average salary of these developers you know both of these developers be it web developers and software developers they are paid really well but when you talk about web developers they have a starting salary which is slightly less than that of a software developer just because of the complexity that's involved uh, you know web developers they get paid around $80000 annually in the united states and somewhere around 7 lakhs per annum uh, you know in india when you talk about software developers these guys have an average salary of somewhere around 115000 to 120 thousand dollars in the USA and somewhere around 10 to 12 lakhs per annum in India so with these wonderful numbers we can move on to the sixth point which is the programming languages because as web developers pretty much you know they mostly work with html css javascript and all these flavors of javascript uh, you know frameworks based of javascript be it react node js and many many other tools as well In the case of software developers again they have to have a lot of proficiency in the languages that they're going to write the applications in uh be it C++ be it Java Python is a beautiful language for software developers C# Sharp, and even they'll require uh some framework knowledge as the .net framework and how all the uh tools integrate into a framework and how eventually they can drive a software uh based on the programming language and these uh development frameworks as well so all in all uh in this point i think the software developers will have to put a lot more work into uh, understanding these softwares and frameworks rather than web developers because at the end of the day it's not simple to be a web developer and it's not a simple task to be a software developers but if you are getting started from scratch i think a web developers aspect to it is a bit advantageous but of course it depends on your interests if you are uh, interested towards a software development career then uh, you will find a lot of resources in our intellipath website itself uh, that can get you started with these now coming to the seventh point it's about hosting applications 
As the name suggests, in web development, the final product or so the end result has to be hosted on the internet so that it can be accessible from anywhere across the world, right? So this part of development, which involves hosting everything uh, on the internet, makes use of a server architecture. You know, the data is all stored in a server, and clients just get connected to that server and you know use it in in the finest situation possible. Now, when we talk about software development, it might or might not involve uh, deploying it on the web or deploying. it anywhere in fact because at the end of the day it's based on the client requirement it might just be that you know the client wants it in such a way that they wanted to talk to their servers and you know not be hosted on the web so that part of it uh, which involves writing programs to make sure that you know the clients can access to the softwares and the tools techniques that's already available in that server well that takes some skill as well now with this we come to point number 8 point number 8 involves career domains you might have heard of uh, web development branches uh, you know there's full stack development there's front end development back end development mern stack mean stack and so much more right so uh, you know do not get convoluted by these names in fact pretty simple as the name says the front end developer will have the ability to uh, you know create the user interfaces make it look nice so whatever you see on a website is what a front end developer does now when you take about back end development back end development is providing functionality ensuring storage making sure that you know your front end has some data to show as well all the data comes from the back end development and full stack development can be considered as a loosely bound front end and back end development together followed by other abilities as well of course we have complete in depth videos on full stack development and front end and back end development on the channel as well so make sure to check it out now coming to a software development career path well a software development career path may depend on what you want out of the career as well because at the end of the day you might be into application programming or you might want to build a software uh, you know which goes towards the domain of data analysis be it software testing or uh, you know you might have interests in terms of database management as well so it depends on where you want to go where you see yourself right now and uh, what you're inclined to do as well now coming to the ninth point it's community support uh both web development and software development have amazing communities most of the tools are in fact open source so you can find a lot of documentation on the web itself now with web development it's it's rapidly growing you might have seen the popularity of the job openings in fact for react js node js and you know it seems to be taking over the web development industry well of course these tools have proven that they can provide a very good results very efficient results without doing much well that's one of the reasons why web development is considered to be growing at a rapid pace and if there's a business anywhere in, in the world well they have a requirement of at least having a website or having a presence on the internet right and this calls for web development coming to software development software development is very very vital it is one of the most important things that can be placed in any organization and of course as the name suggests it's software development it's an ever growing field it's had the title of being ever growing probably for uh, 30 40 years now and uh, ever since the term was coined way back it's still holding true to what it means when they say it's ever growing now with this uh, you know the question that you must ask yourself is which is the right path for you well this completely depends on what you want to do as i've suggested in the previous points web development and software development in fact can go hand in hand to create applications and products so the question you need to ask yourself is which are you inclined uh, to do what's your career path what's your career goal and what seems more attractive to you and fun to you both of these domains web development and software development are really fun to work with and uh, as i've mentioned they have a beautiful community as well so what's your answer to this question which path is the right one for you do head to the comment section and let us know